haven't done an eyebrow routine in a couple years and I don't use any of the products that I mentioned in that video so I decided to come and give you guys a more updated routine and yeah just how I do my eyebrows now so if you want to see more please stay tuned so come to you guys no makeup I just have moisturizer on my face I like to do my eyebrows first and then do the rest of my face before I jump into my actual routine I'm gonna just talk about I'm um, just eyebrow care I guess you can call it I get my eyebrows threaded once a month um, I do recommend that you do some type of cleaning or um, trimming or you know just keeping your eyebrows cleaned up whether you wax or whether you thread I personally like threading um, the wax I break out like all around here whenever I get my eyebrows waxed and then it doesn't last as long when I do threading my eyebrows last um, a good month so I go once a month to get them threaded um, this is optional this last time I went I actually got my eyebrows tinted I can't really see that big of a difference than how they look when I don't get them tinted I don't wear makeup every day so I got them tinted just to have a more defined brow when I'm bare faced um, yeah that's whatever that's optional but I definitely recommend keeping your eyebrows um, just cleaned up and now onto the products that I'm going to use for me I typically use a pencil and a pomade or gel so for the last couple of years I've been using the Anastasia Beverly Hill um, the pomade and I recently started using the pencil maybe like fall of last year so I always use a pencil and a pomade I don't have anything negative to say about um, the Anastasia Beverly Hill I tried them in three different colors so I've used ebony dark brown and chocolate dark brown is my personal favorite um, the only thing I don't like about the Anastasia Beverly Hill is the price tag it is a bit pricey like $20 each and that's just not something I want to pay for um, so for the past month or so I've actually been using the ColourPop actually that's not the gel that's actually I've been using the ColourPop uh, pencil and pomade this is a great dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hill um, I'm not gonna say I like it better they kind of do the exact same thing I like it better only because of the price tag these are six dollars each so six dollars compared to twenty dollars is a huge difference the only thing is that these are hard to get um, as soon as I seen that they were back in stock I immediately made a purchase and I'm going to be using the color black and brown um, in ColourPop and it's like it's the second to darkest color so I think the darkest color is like black and then it's black and brown and yeah so now I'm gonna actually jump into my routine so to start off I'm going to start this off like I would do my regular face and I'm going to prime my face I don't use a um, a brow gel to set my eyebrows when I'm done but I feel like using an actual primer on my eyebrows it kind of does the same thing it keeps my eyebrows kind of slick together and it keeps them from getting oily so I'm going to prime my face using the Becca ever matte poreless primer So the first step is I'm going to take the spoolie and just brush my brows into place. And I'm going to take the pencil part and I'm just going to lightly do light strokes and just fill in the brow. And I don't start from the inner corner. I start, as you can see, um... The front end of my eyebrows are very sparse and it doesn't get too dark until this area. So that's where I start my actual strokes.
And because my eyebrows are freshly done, I really don't need to do all these steps, but I'm going to do them um, for the sake of the video. So I'm going to take the gel and I'm going to use a um, angle brush. I'm going to just lightly get some on the brush and then swipe off the excess. And then I'm going to start at the inner corner and just outline the bottom portion of my brow. Now, depending on how bushy my eyebrows are, I will outline the top part as well for a more defined look, or just depending on how defined I want them to look. Sometimes I'll go over the top. Um, but again, my eyebrows are freshly done, so I don't really need that definition because they're already pretty defined. And next, you want to take a concealer that is a shade or two lighter than your skin. I'm going to be using my NARS concealer in the color Caramel. It's a medium dark. And then I'm going to take this little small concealer brush from e.l.f. and I'm going to lightly just tap some of it onto the brush. And then I'm just going to go under and follow um, the bottom outline of my eyebrow. Now, as you can see, <laughs> I don't have any hair. My eyebrows are really clean. Um, so this is really optional for me right now, but it does give a nice highlighted look anyways when I do the rest of my face. So even though I don't need this concealer to clean up my brows I'm gonna use it just to kind of highlight my brow bone for the rest of my makeup And after I get down, I'm just going to bring that concealer down to help blend it out better and easier. And then next, I'm going to take this blending brush um, by e.l.f. I've had this brush for a long time, but this is like the only brush that I like to use to blend out my concealer under my eyebrows. And so yeah, now I'm just going to blend that out. And now this next step is optional. Um, depends on what kind of look I'm going for. If I'm going for a really natural look, I do not outline the top part of my eyebrows just because, yeah, 
I feel like it doesn't make it makes them look less natural I like to kind of keep the natural not messiness but yeah just kind of thing going on <laughs> at the top my natural arch line but then every now and then um if I want like a really super arched look because I do like really arched eyebrows um I'll take whatever is left on my concealer brush and I'll just lightly do the top part and then I'll just do the front end and then I'll do the tail and then I keep my natural peak on my eyebrow and then just blend that up And then blend that concealer out. Then I'm just going to take whatever's left and just kind of blend out the front end. Not too much, just blend it out. And that is pretty much it. I'm obviously gonna do my other brow. I know the concealer may look a little too light, but once I finish the rest of my makeup, um, the concealer will blend in with the rest of my face and it won't be such a harsh, um, highlight. So yeah, I'm going to do this other brow and then I'm going to show you guys how it looks when I'm all done.